going on you guys this is going to be a follow-up to the stephen curry game if you guys missed it go check it out that was one of the best performances ever by steph curry so go check it out on my channel i posted it last night i was about to say yesterday but last night and my opponent in this game has a very interesting team he has lots of potential superstars he has marcus smart joel mb those are some good rookies I wish Joel Embiid wasn't injured though, so he could show what he can do on the floor. Apparently I'm hearing that his work ethic is not that good, and has been missing some practices, but who knows. And that he grew a few inches, is now 7-2. And apparently he's gonna be injured for the whole season again, for the 2015 and 2016 season. But like I said, it's very unpredictable, I hope he's not gonna be injury prone. And he can have a good career with the Philadelphia 76ers. But anyways, the first quarter is always close. Like I said in my previous video, everyone has a bunch of energy and they're making shots. And you still have to learn how your opponent is going to play offense so you can adjust your defense. And look at this alley-oop, Sean Marion, the Matrix. I'm kind of sad that the Cavs didn't even use him in the playoffs against the Golden State Warriors. I wish they would have used him more. He probably would have had an impact on the game. The starters would have been less tired. And the fourth quarter would have been much different for most of those games. Where it ended by a few points. And look at Jimmy Butler with the pull up to end the first quarter. And the crazy thing about this game is that this video is going to be all about Carmelo Anthony. And I didn't even play Carmelo in the first quarter. He's the guy that's coming off my bench as my sixth man. And what's funny is that Carmelo is going to be playing in a Chicago Bulls uniform. Honestly, in the offseason, I wanted Carmelo to go on the Bulls because he's all about the offense and the Chicago Bulls are all about defense. So both would have complemented each other very, very well. But now he's with the Knicks because I think he's all about the money. Now he's going to have to rely on rookies, on Grant and Porzingis to develop fast and help him as much as possible because... I think he's like 30 years old already, so he's in his last few years of his prime, so I hope that they have something good in store in New York, man, because I don't want to see him miss the playoffs again. I want to see him in the Western Conference Finals, or, oops, not Western Conference, I was thinking that he was in the Denver Nuggets. Sorry, I meant the New York Knicks, so he's in the Eastern Conference, so I want to see him in the playoffs again, because it's boring in the playoffs without Carmelo Anthony and Kobe Bryant and all the other superstars we're used to seeing. But anyways, the second quarter is where the show gets started with Carmelo Anthony. I'm going to keep looking for him. As you guys know, I have Carmelo at the 4 position. So there's so many advantages like I mentioned in my previous video when I had Kawhi Leonard at the power forward spot. When I was abusing Anthony Davis. But in this video, I'm going to be abusing Chris Bosh with Carmelo Anthony. It's very, very funny, man. Because Chris Bosh is going to be falling asleep. Look at that. Chris Bosh is leaving Carmelo open. And Carmelo, oh, I love when he does that, man. <laughs> Three point to the head. But look, I'm looking for Carmelo. Over Bosch, over his hand, a guarded three-point shot. And he had a turnover, so now I have another possession. This is what I call a two-for-one. This is basically six points in 15 seconds. And now the game is blown wide open. But the third quarter is going to be even more magical than the first two quarters. Because this is where everything starts to happen for Carmelo. Look at Chris Bosh thinking he is Carmelo. Chris Bosh ain't Carmelo, baby. <laughs> so Chris Bosh, man, when he's on the Miami Heat and just jacking up threes, it really annoys me. I want him to be in the post. But look at Carmelo making all his shots. I don't think he missed a shot in this third quarter. And I'm fighting against the lag as well. Chris Bosch falling asleep, look at that. <laughs> man, Chris Bosch, man, what are you doing? So I'm still looking for Carmelo and Chris Bosch. This is a mismatch. I'm going to call for a screen. He's going to go under. I'm going to give it to Shaq. Waiting for Chris Bosch to sag off. This is a contested three and he still makes it. Wow. So Carmelo, man, he's a beast. He can make contested threes. I looked at his ratings offline and his contested shot is like a 90 so you could shoot in people's faces really really well <laughs> okay pause pause there don't don't think that way <laughs> okay anyways 
with Carmelo, like I said, if a defender is there, it doesn't really matter because offline, I checked his ratings. He has a 90 rating for contested shot. I think a 90 or a 92 or a 93, but his ratings are somewhere in the 90s in the contested shot. So look at Carmelo wide open. Chris Bosch is falling asleep. He's probably still on vacation in Miami. So Carmelo is getting all these shots off. He's bringing a double finally. And I could see James Harden in the corner. And of course, Carmelo is going to pass sometimes. It's the triangle offense, the hexagon offense, whatever you want to call it. The circle offense. I don't know what Phil Jackson has in New York. Look at Carmelo. Ooh, nice facial. All right, the third quarter is winding down. I'm looking for Carmelo again. He's falling asleep. Contested three. Snell's trying to lob it once again. I don't know why. The alley -oops are a little bit broken on this game. You could basically lob it. Oh, look at this shot. Pull up three in his face. Contested three. And one. Four point play. It's so rare to hit a contested shot on this game, especially when it's super red. Like when the defender's right on you, you'll see your shot rating is really red. Or if it's just a little bit contested, it's yellow. Those are, you can knock those down. But the red ones is really tough. And the fact that it was three pointers and I did it two times in a row speaks volumes of Carmelo's contested shot rating. And look at this lead right now. It's 84 to 33. That's crazy. And the fans have been booing most of this third quarter. Oh my gosh, Carmelo actually missed a shot. That was the first missed shot by Carmelo. I think he made 10 or 11 shots in a row before that. Now he missed two wide open shots. So it's really funny. Carmelo misses wide open shots but makes the contested shots. And right here, Carmelo Anthony gets fouled. And of course, I make both free throws, obviously. Alright, so now I'm going to go on Matt Barnes. This is why the Los Angeles Clippers traded Matt Barnes. <laughs> Matt Barnes can't guard Carmelo. Ooh, another facial by Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo looks so good in a Bulls uniform. It was just meant to be. But unfortunately, this is fantasy. It's not real life. And Carmelo's bullying Matt Barnes once again. Just pushed him off with a shoulder. Matt Barnes cannot guard Carmelo, especially in the post. Look at this. I'm going to dance on Matt Barnes once again. Give him a few moves. Bump him some more. Get into the paint. It doesn't matter. Is Matt Barnes even there? It's like I'm playing freestyle alone in the gym. Car Matt Barnes is just a toy right now. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So Carmelo gets fouled again. I'm going back to the free throw line. I'm going to make both free throws again. So now it's 95 to 37. Let's call for a screen from Shaq. This is the give and go. Just like when he was with Kobe Bryant in the early championship days of the Lakers in the year 2000s. Shaq is probably like, this ain't Kobe Bryant. But Carmelo is just as good scoring wise. Look at this. To end the fourth quarter. <laughs> It's the first time I ever scored above 100 points in Ultimate Team. And the funny thing is that Carmelo didn't even play in the first quarter. I didn't even use him in the first quarter. I just kept him in the game because in the second quarter he was making some shots. So I decided why not keep him for the rest of the third. And that's when he exploded. So why not keep him in fourth as well. I wasn't expecting this type of game. I was just shooting for fun. And then it just happened. So now I got so many coins out of this game. Look at Carmelo Anthony, he's the player of the game, obviously, with 62 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. I think he out-rebounded Chris Bosh in that matchup, so I'm pretty sure he won that matchup fair and square. I look at all these coins, I got 2,129. It's also the first time I got above 2,000 in the terms of coins, because usually I get less than 2,000. I usually get 1,600, 1,700. Now look at these replays. Carmelo has a beautiful jump shot. Him and Steph Curry, they're so nice to watch. Their jump shot, their shooting form, the way they catch it, the way they gather, the quick release. You could watch them shoot all day long. And Carmelo's happy, my bench is happy, and so am I. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.